Segment three, Northtown Neighborhood News Magazine. Thanks to my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. I want to thank our guests very much, uh, Commander Rotner and Amy Sander. And now it is a pleasure to introduce you to somebody new. It's always good to have new blood in the neighborhood and um, somebody who's involved in some very worthwhile ventures. I will let you tell, I will let her tell you herself. We're talking about Zara Quadri. Zara, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. First of all, um, t tell us, uh, now you run something called Zam's Hope, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, uh, Zam's Hope is a community resource center. We are serving a uh, community since last seven years. And we have emergency food program, after school program. We have citizenship classes. And I was really lucky to have uh, some money uh, from the state to buying a computers and printers and copier machines. So we open up a new uh, computer lab. Oh, that's terrific. Right. Now, uh, where, where is your organization? Organization located at 6401 North Artesian. 6401 North Artesian. So it's basically Divine and Artesian, right. 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 Yeah. Okay, and um, it, it, who is it? Who is Zam's Hope geared for? Zam's Hope, back personally, uh, it is very personal. Uh, right, because I read the story on <laughs> right. the website. That's why I'm asking that. Right, right, right. I started. I came here in this country, and I had very tough time. I went to different organization, as well as uh, government programs for food stamp, medical. I was looking some help. I was going through um, a divorce, and. Uh, there's no budget available to helping us. So me yeah. and my daughters de decided uh, to open up a center and show community what is community work all about and how you can uh, help others. So and um, so okay now how what are the hours of your uh... hours of operation is three to six we serve Monday through Thursday after school program mm. and Friday uh, usually uh, we close and Saturday Sunday one to five for uh, computer lab and for citizenship classes people come for food and for different type of helps. So, I mean, you're helping people with computer skills, you're, you're giving people a, a solid place for them to be after school where they're not going right. to get in trouble and do something right. useful. Right. You also have food that you're able to help people yes. with? Uh -huh. We do have uh, emergency food uh, boxes from City of Chicago. And any, any time uh, during uh, the hour's operation, anybody can come and get the emergency food. There is no limit or anything like that. And also we refer to different programs if they qualify for food stamp and for other food pantries, we do that. And also we have a senior rental assistant program is just a private donation. And we are receiving uh, wonderful support from community. Which is terrific. And you've gotten very involved in the community yourself. Yes, <laughs> definitely, yes. OK, now before we get into that, though, so how, uh, uh, on an average day, about how many people are availing themselves? I'm, is it mostly children? Is there a certain age group that you're uh, servicing? or? Yes, uh, after school program, uh, basically 6 to 17 years old. And okay. they are coming daily basis. Average attendance is 18 to 19 kids. So that's a nice crowd. Right, yeah. And three, four people come nonstop for emergency food boxes. Oh, very nice. And Saturday, Sunday is lots of crowd. I mean, a lot of people because it was uh, basically open uh, to public anytime, one to five. Anybody yeah. can come in. But right now, we are, uh, we have so many clients uh, that we can really serve. And I only go Saturday, Sunday. I'm a volunteer and I work full time job. So it's only by appointments, only uh, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, very good. So, uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, you work, it, well, well, I don't know if you want to mention it on the air, but you, I happen to know your boss and uh, she's yeah. been on the show a few times. Yeah. Actually, I work for Clark Brown, and I'm a manager for civil lawsuits. Oh, very. Oh, yes. okay. That's manager for civil lawsuits. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Motion department. Yes. <laughs> right now, um, you're you're you are involved all over the community. Uh, you know, I've yes. seen you. You remember the district advisory committee of the 24th yes. district? Yes, I am. Which yes. uh, we're big, very big on community policing over here, as you know. Um, as you know, the VDC mm -hmm. wonderful support from 24th District, and I'm very happy that they support our community and try to come uh, for workshops and also donated some money for buses, transportation, and stuff like well, that. We, well, we I are very that, happy, yes. Right, you had a special program with the police last year, as right. that I was notified because you're in my district, actually. Yes. So um, I, I know with, with in cooperation with the police department, you ran a special uh, you know, uh, event, you know, yes. for uh, for your kids over there, right. which, which I heard was very successful. Yes, <laughs> yes. And, um, oh, you were even the uh, mistress of ceremonies for the, the recent Devon and Rockwell, uh, yes. uh -huh. you know, which, which um, and, and I know you're involved in all different kinds of organizations. Yes, actually I organize uh, shows, you know, any event, workshops and stuff like that at Devon Avenue. Right. Yes. And you're doing this as a volunteer. <laughs> yes, I'm a volunteer. Which I think yeah. is very cool. Yes. And I enjoy helping others. 
No, that's very nice. I mean, uh, do, do you know how many people you serve over the course of a year? Or? Uh, last year, we serve over 750 people wow. all together. And we're not calculating our regular daily youth at all. That's a lot of people. Yes, that's so lots that's of terrific. people. And some are, we have uh, lots of uh, kids, actually, extra. Uh, according to city, we supposed to serve 23. We don't have a bigger space, so I'm looking for a bigger space now so we can serve more kids. Oh, very nice. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and you're right now you're at 6401 North, North Artesian, Artesian. Right. okay, which is basically the south, the northeast corner of Devon and Artesian. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what's the phone number over there? Telephone number is 773-719-9267. 773-719-9267. Mm -hmm. And you have a website? Yes, website is www.zamshope.net. www.zamshope.net. Basically what I did to find it in the first place, because I needed to call you to get you on the show, is I just typed Zams Hope into Google, yes. and it worked out very nicely. And um, I guess this is a... Um, this is our recent book, yes. Okay, and uh, very nice, and uh, oh, this is very nicely done, as a matter of fact, yeah. I've never seen this before, but uh, oh, you're involved in all kinds of things here, yes. uh, mm -hmm. gift-giving party, walk against violence. Yes, it's good this thing is our against. yearly now, yes. Okay, <laughs> awards and all that, wow, that's yeah, quite a few awards. All, yeah, you should visit us. <laughs> I will, as a matter of fact. I, uh, yeah. you know, I, I know that you actually have to work during the day, so I should come between five and six when you're... Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. After yep, work, yep. I go directly to Zam's home. And the yeah. figures, yeah. yeah. And um, so, so t tell us, too, that the mistress of ceremonies, with, together with you, is also your daughter. Yes, my daughter. So you want to... She's very involved, actually, a, and she is the one she's organizing all summer uh, youth activities. Mm. She's a youth executive director, and she's going to Loyola University. And she's she did very well in her public yes. speaking, I must yes. tell you. Yes, thank you. So as a matter of fact, she was on the show. If any of you who saw the dedication for the uh, parking garage yeah. at Devon and Rockwell, um, that was you together with your daughter, and you're, you let your daughter do all the talking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to bring our youth, basically, <laughs> up front. No, that sounds good. So once again, 773-719-9267. Uh, 9267, Zams Hope. Serving the needs of, uh, you know, if, if, what, after school programs, uh, people if they need help with food and all the rest of it. You served over 750 people last year. And, um, you know, uh, and you're looking to expand also in order yeah. to serve more people. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you very much, Zero Quadri. I want to thank my entire technical crew, Sonny Hirsch. Join us every single Thursday, 7.30 p.m. And we're running out of time. So, Zara, thank you so much. Thank you so and much. And glad you could join us. And good luck with Zams Hope. Thank you.